When Lafayette toured the New England states, he rode in this carriage. Really? This exact carriage? And it was a luxury sedan in 1824. It's called a basket wagon, and the body is woven, like a basket, from willow branches. The inside is lined with silk, and the metal handles on the front and sides are silver. It belonged to a Dr. Jarvis of New Hampshire. I wonder what they might have talked about as they traveled. Okay, General Lafayette, just sit back and relax, if you can. Thank you, Dr. Jarvis. This road is very smooth compared to some I've traveled. Mon Dieu, sometimes it's been très difficile. I mean, very difficult. But your carriage is very nice. Is it new? Why, thank you, General. No, actually, it's 14 years old. But me and the missus only take it out for special occasions, and this certainly qualifies. I think we can make about nine miles an hour on this trip. That's excellent time, and the pace I would like to keep. Doctor, my knee is bothering me. Can you suggest something for the pain? I'd soak it in cold water. Did you heard it dancing with your young lady friend? I've read in the papers about the big parties for you across the country. No, no, my knee was first injured at the Battle of Brandywine in 1777 during your Revolutionary War. But the dancing doesn't help. I didn't realize people noticed my young friend. Oh, I've read she's very beautiful and very opposed to slavery. Her name is Miss Fanny Wright from England. And yes, she's très jolie, very pretty, and very intelligent. She opposes slavery as much as I do. I also heard the young woman proposed marriage to you. Will you accept? Oh no, doctor, she's wonderful, but I made a promise to my wife, Adrienne, before she died, that I would never marry again. So where are you heading after Windsor, General? I'm off to Burlington. Vermont is so beautiful. Yes, it is, General. What's the agenda for your stop in Burlington? Oh, it's the same everywhere I go. Parades, parties, food, music, and who knows, they may name a street after me. But it never gets old. I love the American people, and I'm honored to be your guest. And now, Doctor, I think I will try to take a nap. Go right ahead, General. Next stop, Windsor, Vermont. Here, giddy up. That's the end of your tour. Please return the player and headphones where you picked them up. You'll get a handout about the exhibit and have a chance to win an iPod Nano. You just have to answer a question on the handout. You only have to write about three sentences. It's easy. And fill in your name and address. Then tear off the answer and drop it in a box you'll see. This summer, we'll draw from the entries and you could be the winner. Good luck! <laughs>